All right, here is uh, more insanity from uh, a few of the folks on the right side. Man. Marjorie Taylor Greene, who's uh, getting really proficient at lying unless she's suffering from dementia. Here she is at some Republican Nazi get-together saying one thing, and then uh, we'll roll her saying entirely 180 degrees difference. Then January 6th happens, and next thing you know, I organized the whole thing along with Steve Bannon here. And I want to tell you something, if Steve Bannon and I had organized that, we would have won. (laughs) Not to mention, it would have been armed. finished with our meetings here at the White House this afternoon. We had had a great planning session for our January 6th objection. We aren't going to let this election be stolen by Joe Biden and the Democrats. President Trump won by a landslide. Call your House reps. Call your senators from your states. We've got to make sure they're on board and we already have a lot of people engaged. Okay, stay tuned. Now here's a little boy that grew up, oh man, hard scrabble. Can you believe that? Now, come on, picture Eric Trump in your mind. And let's listen to how hard it was for him to grow up. I grew up wiring buildings with electricians, pouring concrete, doing tile work, you know, running HVAC, you know, cutting down trees, running backhoes. And stuff. Because I wake up at 4.30 in the morning, every single morning. I say the Pledge of Allegiance to my five-year-old and, and my three-year-old. In fact, they say them now, um, and they do so beautifully. And then I say the Lord's Prayer, and I say two other little family prayers that we have. And then I make them say something that's meaningful to them. I do this every single night at 745, no matter where I am in the world. If I can't be there, I'm doing it on FaceTime with, with my wife and kids. They see my yeah, – and, 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 and honestly, guys, that's how I live a clean, positive life. Okay, who wants to call DCFS on this asshole? This is how you treat your five-year-old child? Man, Trumps are insane. So obviously it's, uh, it's like it was in England. There was so much inbreeding <laughs> that it just, you know, scrabbled their brains. And uh, Eric, as well as Don Jr. and Ivanka, they are, uh, they are mentally disturbed. They need help. A good psychologist might, uh, you know, might help them, although they are way too old and beyond anybody's help. Whatever.